that stressed me out that day, actually, to be honest with you, Justin. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Where to? Where from? What is fate wearing? Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking about The Real Housewives of Lagos, season two. I'll be talking about episodes one and two. So The Real Housewives of Lagos, we have Abo, we have Miriam, we have Twin, we have Laura, we also have Chioma. There are two new housewives who are Tanya Amontayo and Faith Mori, who is the six foot Amazon queen, as she always says. Episode one opens up with Miriam and Twin, you know, talking and Miriam just wanting Twin to apologize and them just settling or trying to settle the issue they had the previous season. And Twin just went on and on that she can't remember. Which was pissing Miriam off, and because they were friends before the show, so it rubbed her off the wrong way that you know Twain wasn't owning up to what she said, and Twain was just I don't remember saying that, but it's something I can't say and stuff. And Twain now also hinted at the fact that you know when she lost her baby, Laura was all the, the only person that reached out to her and you know to check up on how how she was faring. And Miriam was like, well, she was out of the country. But in her confessional, she was like, she reached out to Twain. That Twain is lying. So I'm like, which one? Which one, Miriam? Which one are you actually going for? Did you reach out to her or did you not reach out to her? Because it's... Yeah, so that's that, by the way. So they eventually just sorted things out, sort of. And they moved past it. Um, after that, next thing we get to see, you know, Twain having a work meeting with her workers and they're just talking about business and, you know, how her work is, that is not appreciated, you know, here in Nigeria is being recognized um, internationally and stuff. So the work meeting was a bit odd because it didn't seem like, you know, something the workers are used to. It didn't seem organic, you get. So it was a bit odd. Then her husband comes in with his face mask you know remind her about her doctor's meeting laura in season two is quite different from the laura in season one with all the drama so now she's a bit calmer she's just chill she's laid back she's just you know with her family just cool she's just really really cool and yeah so faith calls her to invite her to this distress session vacation yeah she also invited to um laura happens to be friends with you know the new girl faith so she was just so excited to you know take faith out let them see lagos and you know find out how she's been settling and they're just catching up and she also invited faith for the stuff miriam invited her to so at least she'll get to meet the ladies and you know she was just they were just basically just giving her heads up you know like you're awesome and this i, I want you to get to know them and make your own judgment off of that meet them yourself and know just navigate from there so miriam also you know invites trauma trauma who happens to be friends with the new girl tanya so trauma also invites tanya so everybody is going to turn up for the staycation so now at the staycation you know hosted by miriam you know all the housewives are to be there but twin couldn't make it because she had a work trip to attend to so she wasn't in lagos at the time so she couldn't make it to the stuff so, you know, um, Miriam is there, you know, as the host. Other housewives turn up. So we have, yeah, we have Iabo, so Trema shows up, Laura shows up, uh, Tanya, who is, you know, Trema's friend. And, you know, Laura tells the ladies that, oh, she invited someone as well. They're all just talking, talking, talking. Then, you know, Faith Mori walks in. So she comes in with in quite a dramatic manner you know we have train and her flamboyant <laughs> outfit that seems to ruffle the ladies feathers and yes this vacation thing was more or less the highlight of episode one because you know there the ladies most especially Iabo, you know she was being very um, condescending and more or less like antagonizing or attacking the new bees First, we have Tanya, you know, saying, you know, Tanya looks like that one. 
referring to Caroline saying that trauma has a type and well and mind you you know trauma and Tanya have been friends for over eight years so it's not like how and Caroline's friendship which you know started on season one you know where they met and stuff and it was a bit uncomfortable obviously for Tanya you know with the remarks they were making how she was just throwing shade and trying to get to know Tanya and now still bringing up her father oh I know has gist and stuff so it was uh, it was very awkward it wasn't a welcoming atmosphere on the other end you know now attacking when faith more comes everybody's rising her from head to toe and uh, you know long train and having their own opinions about it and yabo on the other end was being overly dramatic like we know all of them all the housewives are very extra and none of them was appropriately dressed for what they were there to do so obviously and also it okay with her yoga where it obviously didn't fit, fit well with the ladies we have also, who invited this one sir i'm like hey but laura mentioned earlier that she was inviting a friend and obviously that is a friend but yaba was a bit too spicy in this episode she was just going for this lady she was just poking them and i think she was trying to get a reaction out of them apart from all of that talking 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 and the whole stuff stuff about caroline and also how tanya didn't react to get she was just getting bullet for someone she doesn't know about so she didn't take it personally then towards the end you know miriam comes gives everybody like a gift bag and like thank you for coming and stuff Yabo got up to leave and she steps on Faith tree. Yeah, not once but twice, which was a bit unnecessary. She was trying to, I don't even know what she was trying to do. It was just too childish. Like, I didn't see the need for that. She did it the first time, you came back, you stepped on it again, and now i really liked how faith was just so quick like she was just so calm she didn't want to react she just observed her display her madness and you know the other housewives were just laughing about it. it wasn't cool but yeah that's the highlight of you know episode one so episode two twins back from her work trip you know my miriam is catching her up on what happened at the staycation with the whole train and the new girl faith being a bit too extra and what were, and twin was like ah, that she likes that kind of thing like i actually like the girl already but if i was there i'll help her carry her train because honestly like everybody is allowed to express themselves in the way they want to everybody dresses how they want to like nobody makes you feel less than or whatever but episode two you know trauma is having this her yard sale so the, the ladies are kind of invited yeah, boy is also like just trying to convince Chama if she can invite twins to let them like sort things out because she's in a weird spot, you know, being very close to Chama as well as twins. So she just was trying to mend fences. She wanted them to resolve the issues. And yes, obviously, twins is wrong for, you know, trying to get physical with Chama. And she was just trying to cajole Chama into just allowing, you know, Chama attend and Chama decided like it's okay cool but she doesn't want drama and on the flip side we also get to see Yabo and Twin talking and she's also just telling her about the yard sale and she should show up and be the bigger person and extend an olive branch and just apologize for your wrong and what 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 so that's by the way and Twain was like she won't come where she's not invited this 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 that 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 everybody was just cool 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 yeah, and also in episode two you get to see yabo's new boo hello and it was nice seeing her happy and in love you know and she just seemed really really relaxed which was cool you get to see um yabo and faith more you know having like a one-on-one -on -one time at the beach so faith just wanted to get to know the real ear because she feels like the person she met at that vacation was not yabo so she we just wanted to like talk to her one-on-one -on -one and just see what she's about because Faith also like wanted to work with her daughter you know for her clothing line and all of that and you know Yaba being how she is in this season which is a lot was already judging her from the fact that she came with a bodyguard and she was overly dressed for you know the staycation and 
spirit was just telling her that nobody there was dressed appropriately and that is who she is like that's how she dresses and yabo was like no but when i met you the other day at your photo shoot this is that wasn't how you were dressed and i was like but she was dressed for a photo shoot she was supposed to be like i, I didn't know what yabo's issue is with the new girl but it didn't look cute honestly i'm not giving it was giving mean girl vibes and yeah so fate was just also telling her how she would like to get into um nollywood into acting and you know she should give her tips here and there and just you know just talking about it basically so yeah but was in her confession was her ah, that she's already acting the part you know with her bodyguard and you know she's feeling like a celebrity and what, what, what. Oh, that, 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 by the way then you know laura comes in because you know laura is friends with faith and as laura comes in yabo exits the place and you know that, 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 that. so yeah we also get to meet another new housewife who happens to be dr romel romel yeah so he is faith morris friend he seems to be like a character on his own like a proper character so, you know so when faith is giving him the gist of you know what happened at the staycation and how Chema was asking about her age and what 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 he was ready to go off he was giving <laughs> he also invited him for the yard sale to you know get to meet the ladies and you should not go them go there you know to the event ready for fight you know ready for war he should go there with an open mind and just get to meet them and interact with them yeah so the yard sale now happens everybody shows up yeah, so the ladies are there just having a little chit chat upstairs. Yes, it was downstairs. Then Twain comes in, you know, with her extravagant outfit as the king of fashion that she is. You know, so she comes there, everybody is just so she walks up to yeah, she hugs Chama and you know, apologizes for trying to hit her and all of that. And yeah, although the apology was fake, we all know it was fake. But I think it was much needed. After that whole apology and just thought of talking things out, but not talking things out, yeah, it just made the rest of the night flow seamlessly. So yeah, so after that the auction for the yard the sale happened. So basically the yard sale was for Chioma's foundation that she has been self funding, auctioning off some of her outfits to put back the money into the foundation. So basically the auction money isn't going into her pocket, it's going to help the people in her foundation that obviously need the money so yeah so the women were you know very very engaging everybody was interacting everybody was bidding for her outfit even though they won't be able to wear it but it was really nice to see like them support her foundation and she was even surprised like laura twin they were willing to give out their money to support that as well faith did you know bid she didn't bid for the any of the outfit which seemed to rob Trevor of his wrong way feels like this outfit is not something she would wear it's not her kind of style that's why she just didn't beat yeah real housewives of lagos so far we'll see more what will unfold in the next episode i feel like tanya has a lot of vim she has a lot to give so now she's just laid back she's just watching she i think i feel like she's someone that has a very very sharp very very bad mouth so if you come for her she will definitely come for you so don't take her quietness for weakness she's giving me that vibe faith is somebody that can react when she wants to react but she's right now just observing you know so let's see how everything will turn out let's see how the rest of the episodes will go so if you're watching the real housewives of lagos please leave your thoughts in the comment section the new ladies i'm enjoying them so far faith six foot amazon Queen. she's just doing her thing and tanya is very very cute very very homely just giving pure love and light vibes you know on her own and, and the rest of the house just being how they were in the previous season except for yabo and miriam who are being a bit too giving me they're trying to do main character syndrome yeah then laura is a different laura from the laura you're used to in the previous season which is the Breath of fresh air so it seems like laura is just going to be the one watching all the drama unfold she's not going to be in any mix but yeah we'll see how everything turns out please like this video share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye